I've got a little uh, <clears throat> 90s recording studio going here. Scored this uh, ADAP machine for a case of beer. Problem I'm having here though is, as you can see, Uh, and an error seven. <laughs> so, what I'm going to try and do is a uh, error seven means, uh, well, I'm just reading on the internet. Apparently, uh, means the uh, heads are dirty. So, I'm trying to take this thing out of the rack here and we're going to take it apart and we're going to try and clean the heads and see see what we can do. Okay, here we are with the top lid off and um, absolutely beautiful uh, beautiful machine. It's a work of art really. Let's see, uh, it's 1994 Wow, a beautiful machine, very expensive machine in this day, hopefully we can get this working, let's see, these, what's this, I don't see a whole lot of debris on there, but we'll, we'll see, maybe it's the actual tape that's dirty. We're gonna clean it though, see if we can get it working. Okay. Alright, so I think I'll try and put the camera on a tripod. Okay. Um, so, right here I've got uh, isopropyl alcohol to 91%. The higher the percent you can get, the better. And this is just what I have, should work fine. I'm going to take some of this alcohol. I'm just going to put it in this little Tupperware container. And um, I've cut some paper, paper sheets. Oh, well, not sheets, but just strips. I've cut some strips. I didn't have any computer paper. So I just got this. It's, uh, from my mail. <laughs> it's like a bill that I just caught up. Anyways, so we got that. Dude, I'll just try and move the camera here. Some people say you should use a chamois, but uh, we're going to use this piece of paper. The, the, the number, the thing that you want to avoid is getting um, fibers on the head. So that's why we're going to use a piece of paper. And uh, you'll see the technique here. Just going to get this paper wet. Just like that. And then I'm going to kind of like let's see if we get the angle right here. I'm going to hold just gently hold it. Just a slight amount of pressure and turn the head. It's a little bit of dirt there, a little bit of dirt there, also a little bit there. So it wasn't too bad. There's only 321 hours on this unit so I guess what we'll do now is we'll give it a couple all right moment of truth here get these heads all cleaned up Let's see if this works now huh. okay dog hmm 
Nope. Still not working. So let's try something different. Seems to be uh not really uh <laughs> doesn't really seem to be very happy. <laughs> it's trying to fast forward but it's going I don't know, it seems like maybe I might have to take the the bottom off it and check the motor out. She's not happy. <laughs> Let's fast forward right there. <laughs> All right. We'll check it out. So we've got the back of this, or sorry, the bottom off now. Mm, some high voltage stuff down there. You want to stay away from that. Um, it sort of sounds to me like this thing is the motor is not really in very good shape. There's only two belts in it. There's one over here. And Seems to be for the transport, and that seems to be working okay. Um, it looks like there's, I don't know, maybe there's a few different motors here. Looks like there's one there, one there. Maybe these need to be oiled or something. I don't know. Put a tape in and see. Let's put a tape in here. And see what uh, see what's happening. Well, you know what? Just putting the bottom back on this thing. Just seems like there's something wrong with the with the motor or something, and this uh, it's just not working properly. It's getting all stuck up, and not rewinding, not fast forward, and. Sounds like the motor is straining. So, such is the battle with these mechanical uh, devices. I'm just going to put the bottom on and put this in the closet for a bit. <laughs> uh, it's a shame because I, I really like this thing and I do plan on uh, fixing it in the future, but that'll be uh, in the future. And I guess I'll still post this video because it does show you how to clean the heads. but doesn't always work <laughs> I guess that's why people don't use these anymore but um, anyhow I hope um, I hope you know if you have an error 7 uh, I hope that the cleaning technique works for you fortunately it didn't work for me but anyhow we'll see you next time